Yes. All right, guys, caught me interacting with Sophia. She is very talkative this morning, and I'm so grateful for that. So, um, again, I'm Pastor A, and I'm coming to read to you to get news daily. I'm so, so excited about that. That is um, a vision of Prophet Hubert Angel and Prophetess BB Angel that I have seen, taken, and run with it. I love it, love it passionately. So, today, our title of our lesson is Joint Heirs with Christ. I'm so excited. But if you haven't, and oh, the um, on my, uh, I have an iMac here that I do everything on, but this is eSwordX, is the app that I use to read, study, take notes, um, and I can write down here, and then I can, um, and this is just answering questions that I receive on um, what I use, and then as I come over here to um, my notes, whatever I take down here, I can take and add uh, uh, over here I can read them, study them, um, take my notes, write down them. So I'm so so grateful for everything that I can just write here, stay in text, read the scripture, study notes, take notes. Then I can copy them and paste them into my notes. And um, I'm so excited about that having everything in one place. So um, what us uh, see here? Yep. All right, so that is that. And if you haven't already, you can definitely follow me on Instagram at Alwanza. And you can see I do post a lot of the prophets. They are my spiritual parents, and I love to follow them and use this tool as evangelizing to the world, my friends and family. I also share things of personal, I mean, Sophia, and things of the sort, the movements of the prophets, the prayers, the videos, things that I am even haven't done on YouTube, like many other um, people, you can find them on other channels, social media. So definitely, definitely, definitely um, check that out. And it's at Awanza on Instagram. Um, definitely follow the prophets, Prophet Hubert Angel, Prophetess BB Angel on Instagram. And I'm so excited about that. Definitely. Also, as you see, I'm always wearing my Wonders Without Number t-shirt. Well, um, as I'm doing the recordings, I also have the bracelet, which Sophia constantly plays with. But you definitely can um, grab yours as well, your wristband and um, Wonders Without Number wristband. Definitely um get the merchandise love it love it love it love it love it and it's a uh, communication tool it's a conversation starter and i'm so grateful for it so let us go ahead and get started with the word and move myself out and there we are so these are prophets prophet hubert angel and prophetess bb angel definitely check them out and follow them they're live every wednesday and twice on sunday you can find them on youtube hubert angel and i'm so excited so Romans chapter 8 and verse 17. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and join heirs with Christ. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. Glorified together. Suffering with Christ. Suffering with Christ. How do you suffer with Christ? You keep him before you, you keep his word before you, no matter what you're going through. You got a runny nose, sore throat, headache, you're suffering with, you know, hey, God, you're not going through it alone. He's already taken this pain, your sickness, your illness. Therefore, he knows what it feels like to have a headache. So definitely, definitely, definitely do not suffer alone. Go through, endure as a, as a good soldier and be glorified together with Christ. You are an heir. Everything he has belongs to you. You have an inheritance from Jesus that will never diminish. An heir is a person that has rights to someone's property following their death. You have the total full right to receive everything that belongs to Jesus. In other words, in other words, you are his beneficiary. Now we know what that means. Hallelujah, beneficiary. The blessing is that you do not have to wait to receive your blessings. You are adopted into the kingdom of God through Christ. Jesus Christ is the only way to the Father. The inheritance is not based off anything you have done. The decision is solely based on the owner. 
I am sure you know families that needed the court to settle state disputes when their loved one died. But we thank God that he does not determine your inheritance based on any deeds or favoritism. And that's something you had to go to court to get what belongs to you as a child of who died or this person said you can have this and someone wants to fight you for it. Hey, we don't have that. We don't have that problem in Christ. Being a joint heir is like having a joint bank account. Whatever excess and authority the owner has, you have it too. And power like power of attorney. No question asked. Why? Because the owner trusted and approved you, right, to use the funds as you wish. This is just like the God you serve. Hallelujah, guys. I am so excited. He does not withhold anything good from you. Whatever you want that belongs to him, you have full access to it. You might be going through life and not feel as if you have been backing, if you have heaven backing you up. But in a little while, your situation shall comply to the word of God. If you catch this revelation, if you catch this revelation, take your authority and declare what you need today. This revelation that you are a joint heir with Christ, whatever God has given Christ. You are joint and recipient of it, right? Take your authority and declare what you need today. If it's healing, if it's finances, if it's relationship, if it's mentality, if it's children, if it's a place to stay, whatever you declare what you need today, reading this right now, what you want. That check that you write for any wonder will always clear from God's account. Miracles, signs, and wonders follow you wherever you go. Blessings. Never again live beneath the benefits of being a child of God. You're a child of God. Don't tell yourself if something feels wrong or you're lacking or you now find yourself borrowing when you should be lending. Guess what? You're like, hey, I'm a child of the living God. I am a child of God. Therefore, this is an error. My life has to line up. Declare these things. Now we're at the prophetic declaration, which reads, I am a joint heir with Christ. Just remember that. I do not like anything. Jesus has already supplied every need. I am the lender and not the borrower. All the promises of God are yay and amen. <laughs> Isn't that great to know? I'm excited just filling up my spirit with that knowledge again and again and again. So that brings us to Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20, which reads, I'm so excited, you guys. This is just heaven on earth for me, right? And it says, now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. So if you can think it. Yeah, you just had to let that sit right there. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly. So it's going to be exceeded and abundant over and above all that we ask or think. So not only are you speaking it, you thought it. So you thought it, you spoke it. You spoke it, you thought it. You be like, I'm blue. They say, I know you see yourself blue. Is that I live in this neighborhood. I live in this zip code. Next thing I know, you see yourself there in this house, driving through this neighborhood, living there with your neighbors, out drinking coffee while walking to get your, your mail. Or driving the same type of cars. Like whatever you see that, you, that God can do above and, above and beyond. You may ask for a Honda and get a, a Range Rover or Lexus. Like whatever it is, he can go above and beyond. You be like, man, I was just asking for a little Toyota. A little, um, you know, and you got something way, way greater. So to the power that worketh in us. It's the power. It comes from the power that is in us. It's, it's, and it's so great. Don't forget to head on over to hubertangel.org shop and grab your merchandise. Love you guys. And until next time, we'll see you. Bye.